Hello everyone. Welcome to JS Kicks and my name is Deepak. Welcome to the next tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about Angular components, how the application bootstraps using Angular component, and we will also see what are the provider and dependency that we provide at the root level of your application when application bootstraps. Without further ado, let's quickly go to VS Code and have a look at the application that we are currently building. So let me just open main.ts, which is also a very important file considering the fact that at the angular.json we provide the src main ts file over here as you can see which i have also highlighted at line number 22 this tells us that this is going to be the main file where the application root would be provided and bootstrapping of application would take place the bootstrap application is a new function which is created from angular 17 onwards so this bootstrap basically comes from angular platform browser earlier for bootstrapping in the application until Angular 16 or prior releases, we used to use a different function, which was in the Angular previous version, we used to use a different function, which was also part of platform browser dynamic, but then the app, but then the function name was bootstrap module. Since in Angular 17 onwards, the primary focus of Angular is going to be on the component and not on module. However, until 16, 16th version of Angular, primary focus for application bootstrap used to be on modules however you would see a change from angular 17 onwards as we can see it over here this bootstrap application is a function that accepts two argument the first argument is the component name itself second is the config so app component is the name of the main component or the root component using which your application would be bootstrapped and the second argument, which is also an optional argument that provides a list provider for your application. So whatever provider that you provide here at the app config would be listed at the root of your application would be available to all the components that you use further down, right? So let's just quickly go to this file and see what it is. So it, as we can see, application config or app config is a type of app config, application config. Let's just quickly see its D file or other declaration file. As we can see in this interface, it only has one property, which is provider, which is of type of array and a provider type. So if you look at the declare, if you look at the provider type, it can be of type provider, value provider, class provider, constructor provider, existing provider, factory provider, or any array of for that matter. Let's quickly go back to the app config file. And now you see it only provides a list of provider. Now let's just quickly see what is app component is all about. So here in the app component, which is basic building block from Angular 17 onwards, as you can see, it has five properties provided at the rate of component decorator. So uh, a component in Angular, a component in Angular is nothing but a basic building block, and it is also a part of, it is also a type of directive with the at the rate component decorator and it provides a selector and a template url we'll talk about other type of directives in the future but for this tutorial let's just focus on component as you can see it has five properties selector standalone imports template url and style url template url and style url is basically a link of your html and scss file respectively however in case of imports you can see that it has imported dependencies of different modules in the in our case it is going to be common module and router mod, router outlet and then, then the other important factor or other important property to look at is the standalone which tells angular that this component is going to be a standalone component by default all the components here in the angular for angular 17 onwards are going to be standalone by default unless you try to make them module dependent and we will talk about it again in the future but for now in this tutorial let's just focus on component role so the selector is basically a name of your component that will be used in your html file to render that particular dom so in this case it is also known as host element and all the html that you define inside the template url of that app component is provided in the dom when it renders on your application right so up until now i think we are good i've also noticed that i have changed line number 11 to 
students hyphen details hyphen root earlier it was app hyphen root and why why do we why did we change it to students details hyphen root is because we have also made sure that prefix of this application should not be app and we had changed it later to students hyphen details so that's why the component name over here is also changed if you have not please change it now let's see if our application works so let's go back to chrome browser and see if we are able to run this application localhost 4200 it's happily working and running at this moment 